Welcome back, Jamie Hartley here again from Crossfader and today's video I have a quick record box tip for you. So if you use record box in export mode with something like the XDJ RX2 or CDJs or if you use record box in performance mode with any of the record box compatible controllers then this tip is going to help you out. Now one of the biggest questions we get asked surrounding record box is how do you set a loop so that it activates when it gets to that point. It's something that is very easily done in both Serato and Tractor, but it's kind of hidden away in Record Box. So let's take a closer look and learn just how to set up an active loop so that when the track gets to that point, you don't have to press anything and the loop will automatically activate. In Record Box performance mode and in export mode, loops can be set and saved as a hot cue. However, if you do it this way, you're still gonna to have to press a button or a pad to activate that loop. Instead of that, we're going to set a loop towards the end of the track. Then navigate to the memory queue performance mode and store that loop in the memory. Now, if we press the loop icon, it turns from orange to red, which then turns it into an active loop. If we undo the loop and rewind the track, you'll notice as it plays, we don't have to press anything. And when it reaches that point, it will activate the stored loop. This works exactly the same in record box export mode, which then transfers onto something like the XDJ RX2 or onto CDJs. As you can see, it's a very simple trick that once you know where this feature is hidden, it's very easy to use. If you've learned something new in this video, please remember to hit that thumbs up button, also to comment if you've got any questions, and then share and subscribe to help us keep making videos like this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another tip video very soon.